Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is very exciting for two reasons. First one is I am filming on a brand new camera. Um, before I had the Canon SL1 and today I am now filming on the 80D by Canon. So please bear with me while I get all the lighting situated. Um, I tried filming this before and some lighting was off. I think I have everything good right now. If I'm like a little off center or if the microphone's a little weird or like this side of the lighting is brighter than this side, please excuse that. I'm like in a process right now trying to figure everything out. So the second thing, which is the main reason why you're here, is this is the start of my Project Pam for 2020. You guys seem to really enjoy me doing it last year, so we are doing it again this year, and it's bigger and better. I am super excited for this year. I have a couple of changes to how this is going to go, but it's gonna go pretty much the same way. This is in um, collaboration with everybody else on YouTube that's doing hashtag Project Pan 2020, which was started by Beauty News, which is, if you don't know that channel, I'm gonna link it down below. Love them so much. They're really infamous for destroying makeup and weighing it and um, seeing how much product you're actually getting. It's a really, really cool channel, so go check them out. They started this. They created this spreadsheet and all that good stuff. So, a little disclaimer between last year and this year. So I talked about this on the finale of 2019, but um, in my project pan and on my spreadsheet that I have, I have three sections down below. Um, one is body products, one skincare products, and one are um, home scents. And within each of those categories, I have sub things. Like so under body product, I have hand lotion, hand soap, body lotion, body wash, body scrub. And what I do is I go around my house and I count everything that I have that corresponds to each type of product. There's a little bit of a um, difference between where I ended last year and where I'm starting this year as terms of numbers. So last year, I might have ended with five hand lotions and now I have eight. And in my finale video, I explained it by I accumulate products throughout the year, whether it's through Birchbox, Ipsy, and the Sephora box, or just through getting samples through Sephora or Influencer. I'm part of that program too, where I get said products. And instead of trying to account for those throughout the year within the spreadsheet, I just wasn't counting those and I wasn't using them. So I kind of just had a stockpile off to the side and now those numbers are being added into this one. Um, didn't add them into 2019 because things would get really messy math and all that kind of stuff. You guys would be confused so I just wasn't including that stuff. So now th these numbers that I'm going to share with you today are an accurate representation of how I am starting the year out. So. Let's go to the top of the spreadsheet and let's start this baby. Also, sorry, of course I have my dog sitting right here. She has a cone on her head. She got fixed. So she's a little bit louder than normal because her cone hits everything and stuff like that. She's pretty content chewing on something right now, but I don't know how long she's gonna last like that. Also, I'm talking very fast. Can we talk about the fact that I have an escape artist, so she, since she has her cone on, we put her in a different crate that is bigger. It's a more the it's like a cage crate, whereas normally we have a kennel crate for her. The cage crate is a problem because she can escape. Um, she rattles the crate so hard that the latches just come undone. So what we did is we started to zip tie them. Well, I looked through my monitor today while I was at work and. She got out of her crate. So I come home, she chewed off all of the zip ties we had on there and then rattled the cage so hard that the latches came undone. And she had a free for all in the bedroom, which is real great. Anyways, if you have problems with your dog like this, please let me know down below because I feel like my dog's just crazy. I don't know, okay, tangent over, let's get onto the products. Okay, so last year, I did the hourglass primers. Didn't really focus them on them that much, but I got them done. So I have three primers this year. All three are different. So first off, we have a medium size 
of the Smashbox, the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. Definitely think I can use this up. I blur my pores every single day. This is completely full, it's never been used. Then we have the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer, which is just a little baby. I've been really wanting to use this, especially now I'm really, really dry because it's cold out. Um, this has not been used either, so it's full. And then another full product, but this is full size. This is the Derma Protect Daily Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Primer Sunscreen in a universal shade. This is by Derma Flash. It blurs, perfects, and protects. So, going to get this done as well. Concealer. I have one this year, and it's the same one, just a different shade. This is the Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer. Um, I have one of these that I keep in my work bag for um, random touch-ups, and I want to keep that one there. I like it a lot, but this has been sitting in my drawer. It's almost completely full. I probably used this like once or twice, so I really want to use this bad boy up. Bronzer and contour is the same as um, last year. We have the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in Sun Kiss. This will definitely be finished this year because we have some pan already. And then the Aesthetica Cosmetics Contour Palette. I am going to finish this this year. You're hearing it here first. It's going to happen. I'm going to do it. These bronzer pans have a good bit of use. I've really started dipping into these and using them to like kind of card out my cheeks. So this is going to happen. Okay, so now we have blush, two Tarte blushes, one from last year, one new. Last year's is classic, so it's the one I was really working on that I've hit major pan. I think by March this will be done. And then we have um, Prim, which is from the same collection that I got this, and I think it was like Amore, Amore, something like that. Um, these are from a holiday collection from a couple years ago. This is Pram, so like a really nice nude color. Super excited to start diving into that. Next up is highlighter, and this is where things are going to change a little bit. Highlighters and eyeshadows, but highlighters first. I, last year, put a really good dent in my Urban Decay highlighter. Said bye to that, it's very old, and it was very much used. So, I am very happy with my highlighter collection, how it is right now when it comes to individuals. Last year, I did a couple declutter series, so I'm pretty solid when it comes to that. So, we are working on highlighter palettes. I'm very excited to do this. These don't get as much love as they need to. I rarely use these, but I love them so, so much. So I'm making it a point to use these. So how it's gonna go is I'm going to switch them out by monthly. So to start, we are using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I love this sucker so much. My favorite highlighter palette ever, 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 ever. It has lots of different tones, so many different shades. It suits all skin colors, but unfortunately, they don't make this anymore. I cannot deal with that. So, I want to show this love this year. So, this is for January and February. For March and April, we have the glow kit that's the Sugar one by ABH. Um, really, really nice. I haven't really dipped into this that much except for Butterscotch. I've probably used once or twice. The Nicole Guerrero one I have used quite a bit, but I'm very excited to use this. I'm pretty sure they still make this one. I have one that they don't make anymore. I don't know, but I'm excited for this. Um, this is going to look really great in the spring. May and June, we have Strobe Genius by NYX. Not sure if they make this anymore, but it's a really great palette. You have lots of different tones and colors in here, so it's a very universal palette. You have to have a purple in there if you're like super, super fair. Then we have the Kris Jenner and Kylie Jenner palette. This is perfect for summer, so this is going to be July and August. This even has one blush, which I may dabble into every once in a while, but really I'm going to focus on these colors right here. Then for September and October, we have these sleek palettes right here. This one is a darker one, Cleopatra's Kiss. And then we have Solstice, which everybody loves. 
Okay, and then to end everything off in 2020, we are going to be using the Makeup Revolution palette by Soph X. Really, really great. Really reminds me of Solstice. I like this a lot. It has so many great colors in it. Just to show you guys, I think they still make this. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like I've seen it recently in store. Okay, that is highlighter. Sorry, I'm over here on my computer. Um, Next on, two eyeshadow palettes. We have palettes and then we have singles. So palettes first. Got them right here here foam abh palette to begin with wearing it on my eyes right now this is the self-made palette they don't sell this anymore this is one of their best releases that they came out with people were obsessed with this um i have some dents in some colors already um because i did use this a little bit last year and i've already been digging into this starting january 1st and it's now the 14th that I'm filming this is going up on the 15th. Really falling behind here. But I tried filming this video before, here comes Conehead, and like everything was just awful, like the sound and the lighting. What'd you think? Oh, you sleepy girl? Is you sleepy girl? From getting out of your crate that took a lot of energy. Yeah? She's so funny, look at her cone. Oh my God, my baby. So yeah, this is going to be January and February. Okay, I'm so excited to be using this palette. This is March and April, the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition. So I have the smaller one, and then of course I got the bigger one because these tones speak to me like no other. I really like this, and I never reach for it. I don't understand why. This has everything I need, like everything, and I love rosy purpley tones on my eyes because I have brown eyes if you can tell um but yes I love this I'm gonna be using the eyeshadows maybe use these highlighters as like a lid shade or something like that but I'm not gonna use them really as highlighters unless I'm like really feeling it that day okay so this might be a little controversial I said today is the 14th yesterday was January 13th and that's when Nikki tutorials came out as trans which is so amazing like, hello, get it. But with that, there's a lot of controversy happening with Too Faced right now. And these are products that I already own and I wanna use them up. I don't want them to go to waste. I spent my money on it. I do not, let's get this straight. And Millie, you need to be quiet for this because it's a serious moment. I do not condone what the owner, Too Faced Sister, has been saying. Not just about Nikki, but like forever and ever and ever. I know that there's like a ton of controversy around Too Faced right now and there has been in the past. But these are products that I want to get use of because I bought them. I'm not gonna do tutorials with them or anything like that. I'm just simply going to show you when I make progress on them on here. So let's say that right now. So the white peach palette, this is for May and June. I love this color scheme. I think it's gonna be really great transitioning spring to summer. We've got lots of warm tones in here, but like a pastel pink, some like rosy tones. Um, so I'm excited to get some use out of this because again, I spent my money on it. Okay, July and August, we are doing the Lorac Pro. This is the third one. Sorry, I didn't say that. This is my favorite one that they have come out with. Again, rosy tones. I just really gravitate towards these and I, I love the concept of these palettes. Nobody ever really talks about them anymore. I know because there probably are better eyeshadows out there and for cheaper prices now, like you've got ColourPop and Morphe and stuff like that, but these are OG. These are OG, so I'm gonna use this one. All right, Too Faced again. This is the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. I think this will be really nice transitioning back into the fall. You have a lot of warm tones in here. Very excited to get some use out of this. Again, bought it with my own money, so I'm gonna use it. And then to end everything, November, December, we have the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay, which hasn't seen really any love from me, and I think it deserves it. Again, OG. Okay, on to the minis. We have Basically all of these I'm carrying over from last year. 
we have the NYX um, Pure Skin. Did I say minis? I meant single. These are the singles. I love using this before my transition shade just to set um, anything I already have on my lid, like my um, primer and stuff like that. Really nice to do that. Then we have Milani Bella Cafe, which they don't make this anymore, but it's a beautiful transition shade. The Balm Nude Dude Color in Flirty, which is just this really pretty um, mauve purple color. And then we have um, minis of the Coastal Scents Style Eyes. It's an eyeshadow sampler. So it has a nice cream color like um, this NYX one. And then this really nice, um, I want to say it's like a mauve burgundy almost. I'm really excited to use those. Moving on down, we have two eyeliners, both Urban Decay, both old. I'm pretty sure this is old packaging, but they are still good they still work this is whiskey and this is bourbon they're both brown so super easy to use then we have lip liner so i have two from last time coastal scents which we are i want to say like a two-thirds the way done or i'm not sure how i measured this but in the first update you will know and then we have the ofra wine lip liner ofra has really good lip liners i was using one of them last year God, what was it called? Like soft mauve or something like that? And I lost it. I don't know where it is. I need to check like all my purses because I have no clue where it is. And Millie wants me to throw her ball, but she won't even let go of it. Anyways, I'm gonna get these done this year. Lip products. We have three lipsticks and I'm even adding liquid lipsticks in here and we have three of those. So two of the lipsticks from last year. This is um, Skimpy by ColourPop really nice pale nude color really pale I need to use it while I'm pale then we have sexy mother pucker in fifth avenue this is by soap and glory so it's um, a little peachier and then the new one for this year is the um, matte lip color by Lorac in the color nude so really going for a nude theme here right there so you can kind of see like a color story happening um it's just products that i like to use you know and i want to use them up but the color comes in with these bad boys so these are the kylie cosmetics chris jenner mini um two mini velvets and one matte i used up the glosses that came with this set um so we have the matte which is boss which is a, a candy apple red i'm not going to swatch them because they will never come off then we have a velvet in overwhelmed which is like a deep berry color then the last one is too blessed this is a velvet too and it's like a purpley berry a little bit um lighter than this deeper berry now on to fragrance so starting this off with i have 86 fragrances currently that means Big guys, medium guys, tiny guys, really tiny guys. I have a ton. I collect perfume. Scents are very important to me. I attach memories to them. So there's some that I will never get rid of. Even if they're super old, having the bottle around, just whiffing them a little bit but not putting them on is still very important to me. But I have some that I'm willing to um completely use up this year and we did really well last year with the scent category so I'm amping it up this year and if you're still freaking out about my perfume collection this whole thing is filled with these minis so I include these as well these you get like eight days worth of fragrance or something like that so I include them okay so let's start with minis then roller balls a spray and then three sprays so Three Little Baby Roller Balls. This first one is Stella McCartney Pop. I have not used this, it's full. The next one is Pure Vanilla, which is just a vanilla scent, it's completely full. And then Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black, which I marked down right here. I've used it a couple of times. Then we have these three roller balls, normal size. Halfway done, Burberry Brit Sheer, so this is where we're starting this year with this. 
Then we have the Good Chemistry Jasmine Rose scent. I have so many of these, which is why I need to start getting rid of them and using them up. There was a time where they stopped making this and then it came back on the shelf. So I had stockpiled it and now I don't need a stockpile. And then we have this Camuto Amore, which is, I wanna say like a fourth of the way done. Okay, sprays. We have one from Luxury Scent Box. Um, this has like a third or a fourth left of it. This is the Chloe perfume. Then we have these two guys from last year. This is Marc Jacobs Dot, which we finished like a fourth of it. It's right down to here. And then we have the pink with a splash, fresh and fierce all over body mist, which I'm gonna say is like a fourth or a third done. It's as you can see down to there. Now let's go on to body products, skincare and home scents. I'm just gonna read you the category and how many of it I have. So for body products, hand lotion, I have eight. Hand soap, I have 10. Body lotion, I have six. Body wash, I have 10. And body scrubs, I have four. For skincare products, masks potted, I have 19. Masks sheets, so sheet masks, masks, I have 36. Face cleansers, I have four. Lip balms, I have nine. Moisturizers, I have 15. Oils, I have three. Serums, I have 12. And eye creams, I have three. For home scents, candles, I have 25. Room sprays, I have 10. And scent bulbs, I have 30. So those are those little Bath and Body Works ones. So I have a total of 318 products. My goal is always at least half which this year is 159 products, which ironically is how many products I finished last year. So we definitely can get this done. Let's just see if we can go over that this year. Okay guys, that is everything that's here. Please subscribe to my channel so that you get notifications when I give you updates on this project and everything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you enjoy this 2020 series. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you later guys. Bye.